we've taken a couple of weeks. We spent a couple of days just reading books about Benjamin Franklin. Some of the books were definitely at a level above their real reading ability, um, but they had some fabulous images in them, which I knew would trigger some thoughts. And then a lot of them were trade books that we've purchased to have at their level. And then we created our data retrieval chart about him, looking for the dates in his life, the ways he contributed to our lives today, um, and then just the things that they find fascinating. They're supposed to know, according to the state, his contributions. Okay. Um, I add the interesting facts because really there's always things we find fascinating that don't fit under the title of contributions. Let's see what we learned about Franklin. All right, Paulos, where are you? Here. Paulos, when was he born? He was born, he was born in 1706. And he died on April 17th in 1790, but what did we learn about him? Let's see, we learned he made bifocals. bifocals. What were bifocals? Um, they, the top lid makes you see far, and the bottom lid makes you see close. Right, special glasses to help people so they can see far away and up close. He proved that lightning is electricity. Did he discover electricity? No. But he figured something special out about electricity and lightning. And then he used that to make lightning rods. Do you remember why lightning rods were so important? What do you remember, Dalal? Because um, some houses got on fire. What would set them on fire? Lightning. The lightning. And so this way, the lightning rod captured that lightning and took it safely to the ground so that their houses and their buildings didn't burn. He made a special arm so he could reach books on way up high shelves. Yeah. He helped us get independence so that we could be our own country. We're going to see a really fun picture about that in a little bit. And he helped make our government. Once we were our own country, we needed a government. Yeah. Somebody had to help us figure out how we were going to run our country. And then we thought it was kind of cool that he's on the $100 bill. Yeah. That he used a kite to help him swim faster. Do you remember that picture when he was a kid and he was holding onto the kite and the yeah. wind would pull him through the water? And then he made wooden flippers and paddles for swimming. He must have liked to swim. And then he wore different clothes from us. He looked different from us. All right, and then who did we talk about next? George Washington! He was born after Benjamin Franklin. He came a little bit later. Although they were friends, they knew each other. And he died a little bit later. And look what we called him. The father of our country. Yeah. Just like Benjamin Franklin, he helped us become a country, a country of our own, and so we called him the father of our country. So, he was the very first president of the United States. He was the general, that was kind of like the boss of the soldiers, mm -hmm. who fought England so that we could become our own country. So now we're going to see what we can find out about these guys.